And I love how there's a rose bush. Perfect, right? Right, because there were some roses in like the water. It's pretty awesome. Wow, that's cool. I just accidentally sprayed my armpits. We don't want to grow up. Look at that little YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Oh, the cat fly. How's my hair? Looks good. I feel like it's actually in the mirror. Top of Cathedral Rock. Freaking almost died. I just want to laugh until I can't breathe. Midnight more like dancing. Never get enough sleep. Madison and Madison, gang. <laughs> I was Sam like meditating over here. <laughs> I didn't realize how out of shape I was though until I did this. I was breathing so heavy. Right, well I was like, come on, don't pass out, don't do this. <laughs> We're done. 
Plus, I think we're kind of short on time. It's very peaceful. This is like what I love to get. Like, it's fucking terrifying. Have you done it? Yeah, I just did the first time in August. Wow. See, I, just, I mean, you could. This is very comfortable. It's like, holy shit. But I'm kind of afraid of heights, so it's kind of. You're facing your fears. Right. Ah, <sighs> so pretty over here. If you guys could just see. Let me go over here. We're probably going to be going down soon. But wow. Let me just get a picture. Like, those people down there. That's not even part of it. Like, we started all the way where those trees are. So pretty. So I haven't really been vlogging much. I'm trying to stay present and just enjoy the moment. Yesterday I didn't vlog as much because I was terrified of getting on my plane and just making sure I'm here and I wanted to meet everyone before I was like, hey guys, you know. It's it's very invigorating though to do this. I wanted to pass out. I wanted to quit And it's nice that we finally made it up here, and it's just so peaceful and quiet um, This is Cathedral Cathedral Rock Cathedral Rock in Sedona um, It's so beautiful here. There's so many crystal shops like every corner um, Everyone is so cool and just on the same page when you think of like a women's retreat you know you're like oh gosh I don't get along with girls I don't have girlfriends and stuff <sighs> but it's it's not like that because everyone's so like-minded here so it's just awesome to be around this type of energy yesterday we just kind of chilled and got to know each other and it was a long day I got up at like 3 30 had a layover in Texas and then yeah so I was tired because it's a three hour time difference from here so at like 7 it was like 11 where I'm at or 10 and I was toasted but it's so pretty and peaceful here I definitely will have to come back here because it's just so nice everyone's so cool Patty is so beautiful and amazing and <laughs> I'm just very blessed and thankful to be here. Um, yeah. Sorry that it's really zoomed in and I'm gross and sweaty. But it's just nice. Like, I've never flown by myself before anything. I was terrified, but I just, you know, I got this amazing feeling when we took off that I was just like so proud of myself. And like, just so many synchronicities. Like, the girl beside me would live like 30 minutes away from me i figured out and we both were reading nicholas sparks and it was just so cool and then my second flight it was just a little jet but i got upgraded to first class so i was like that's so cool and my aunt's like that's pretty rare for them to just upgrade you because like they overbooked so it just all played out very nicely the second flight in dallas was a little confusing i had to ride like the skyline or the sky the little train thing so but the last one was super small so it all just worked out and i was afraid of um being an uber by myself i might have mentioned that in my last vlog and because no one was flying in with me right when i got off the plane um in arizona i got a message from patty's in-law um sister-in-law and she was like hey i'm waiting on you so it was perfect um we got some food um i have some photos and stuff i'm gonna 
uh, put in there, but yeah, so we're probably gonna head down soon. I know my body is gonna feel this in the morning. Didn't get to do all of Bell Rock, but you know, it works. It works. So I got to touch it and meditate a little bit. I'm starved. I need some pizza. <laughs> I felt like I got like a lot more sleep last night though. Um, I don't know if it's because we got to sleep in a little bit more or the time changed, but because like I woke up at six and I was like. Oh, I still have another hour. Sweet. Because I think, you know, we woke up that early and like that's technically like nine where we're at. So did I have any dreams? I did. And um, yeah, it was like they were weird and I can't really remember all of them, but it was just I can't remember. But I remember it was just weird. Like it was like people I knew, but it was just weird. <laughs> they were pretty vivid though. I do have a little bit of video. This is Anna. Hello. This is Luz, my roommate. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna look back at these and just like watch them all. Right. I wish I would have done more, but you know, I was trying to be like present and like not on my phone too much, but. I do have a shit ton of pictures though. Anna's from Tennessee. I am. Tennessee. Luce is like 30 minutes from here. Yeah. <laughs> Flagstaff. Flagstaff. Very small airport. <laughs> That's what I think when I think of Flagstaff. <laughs> I'm sure there's more to do there, just like Sedona though. That's literally all I saw for you. I was just like, it's a small airport. Is that it? <laughs> I was like, oh shit. We're getting off on this stair thing? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if planes go out at like, because mine was a jet. So, they go out? Okay. Yeah, because I have a jet on the way back, so they're just smaller. <laughs> I kind of like missed the, I got upgraded to first class, so like, I didn't get those cookies that they give out. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed because like, I liked those cookies. This, these chips are weird. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, straight. The houses are so pretty though. Just move it. Okay. I went through like the whole spine. I was like, okay. Wait. Yes. 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 Yes.
I missed it. Damn. Look what she's doing. Oh my god, what? <laughs> look, look at you. Hi guys, I'm obviously back from Sedona. Um, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog because I know that I didn't get a whole bunch of footage of everything that I did in Sedona. And I also just wanted to share a little bit of the trip. Um, I know that I didn't vlog the whole thing, but I really just wanted to stay present. And when you're in an environment with high vibrational people, you really lose track of time. And Sedona is, a place where you lose track of time like I don't understand it but like we kept looking at our phones and we were like it's only four o'clock it's only five o'clock like we just felt like time was moving so slow and you're just it's such a magical place so if you ever get the chance to visit Sedona or just do a retreat if it's local or not um definitely do it I also want to apologize if this lighting is a little weird. I'm still adjusting to my new camera, so um, I'm trying for it to not be so harsh, but it is a little windy, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, but yeah, so I'm back from Sedona. It's been almost a week. Yeah, it's been a week since I've been back, and it's... The trip was life changing, the people I met were amazing, um, and I was just thinking about them today. I'm like, I'm so glad I did record some because I feel like it was a dream. Like it just was all my imagination, all these people, like you just meet these great people and you never think that like you'd ever find a group of people that relate to you so well and on a soul level and you're just surrounded by like your soul tribe and you feel so right like everything is just so perfect obviously it's kind of like anywhere you go on a trip and then you come back and you're like oh damn like you're feeling it definitely felt that um i'm still kind of adjusting even though it's been a week um i feel like things got more emotional for me when i got back just because i was like damn just the people I met and just the everyone being able to talk your language and want more for their lives and everyone's there to better themselves and I've never met so many women that I related to literally everybody had the same intention for being there almost everyone had something they could relate to like you just you met these people and you just vibed with them and like you connected with them and you barely even knew them i knew these girls for three days but you connect with so many people more than you do like your everyday life um people that you know for years and so it's kind of hard to come back home and be like <sighs> you know you kind of feel alone a little bit you know because being with so many women that want the same things and want to better them their lives and understand that life is you know all but a fleeting moment and just to be grateful for the little things to have all those women around it's so powerful patty is amazing i'm so happy to meet her she just all the girls were so just beautiful and one of the kindest souls like they had the most genuine if you could just if I could describe like 
to have such a genuine group of people, genuine, caring, loving women. And that is hard to come by, it seems like. And I'm not trying to make a limiting belief or anything, but in our everyday life, growing up in high school, you know, they, they put women with drama and all that stuff, you know? Um, I always had a lot of guy friends, so it was just so nice to connect with with women on that level and to make so many friends. I'm sorry if I keep moving positions so the sun keeps moving on me. To just be surrounded by like-minded women and to see that there are women just like you and it was it's so hard to put this trip into words because it is just it's a once in a lifetime thing that I'm never gonna forget and to just be around women that are like instantly like if you think kind of a bad negative thought or like just a low a low thought they're like nope you're the creator of your own universe and no you're powerful you can do this it was just so powerful and the things that we did the hiking like just Sedona in general is so beautiful and there's freaking crystal shops on every corner there's Reiki there's psychics there's healing there's massage like there's so much stuff for like personal power and i know that's like what sedona is um known for but like the scenery is beautiful and like the energy is crazy like i literally felt like we were in like this vortex that just slowed down um the hike like the the energy on the hikes were were something else some people purged and stuff on the hikes just from the energy and uh, we did she made us dance and like they say dancing is great for moving um stuck energy and there was times where i just felt so out of body like while i was dancing and i felt so powerful it was just like this surreal type of high like you just felt so connected and so like free and peaceful and that is really the key feelings I felt this whole trip was just peaceful and just present like I said I know I didn't vlog all of this trip because you know I just was connecting with so many girls like I had so many deep conversations with girls that I barely knew that I connected more with than my whole life and feeling the energy of other like I felt so in tune there and so just connected and even holding some of the girls hands we did a workshop of like how we saw each other eyes and that was amazing to see you know yourself through someone else's eyes and like feeling their energy like just holding hands and I don't know if I'm even making sense but it was it was beautiful and it was kind of hard to adjust and i'm still adjusting you know i have some you know it's just back to reality type of thing um i'm really sorry if i keep switching positions but the sun is just blinding me as you can tell in some of my shots but i bought a lot of crystals and i did get this cute moonstone bracelet let me tell you some of those crystals over there are expensive but um kind of expected that we ate some good food the scenery was beautiful i had some really good pizza we went to a pizza shop one night me and a couple of the other girls and just literally everyone just connected like there's there was no judgment there was no you didn't feel like what you would feel like you know in high school girl thing you know what i'm saying like you felt so like you instantly just connected with the girls and like everyone was just so cool and not judgmental and I don't know how else to describe it but it was a beautiful and amazing trip and I'd do it all over again and just the power I, I think a lot of um, my growth had to do with just doing it um, you know for me to just like get on a plane and travel by myself long travels oh my gosh those days were long just because the layover and everything else the very first moment my plane took off the very first plane i was like 
I just was like flooded with all this emotion like I'm doing this like I am freaking doing this and I felt so powerful and so even if you have the chance to travel do it literally freaking do it don't let it stop don't let the fear stop you don't let all the other things people say like you don't even know these people blah 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 you don't know what you're doing like that is just them living in their fear so just freaking do it man it was the best experience of my life and for me to sit down and be like i did it and it still doesn't even seem real to me but like that is probably one of the biggest things for me because i was always so scared to just do things especially by myself especially big things like that going across the country um that was one of the big things for me and I connected with so many amazing people and it just makes you feel like you're not alone so if you have the opportunity like I said definitely jump on it um, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog so it's just not like hanging loose for you guys but honestly the most memorable moments were just like connecting with like-minded individuals and it was just beautiful it was beautiful the fires every night and like the moon and like the stars oh my gosh it was all just perfect and I'm forever grateful and I'm trying to incorporate and bring back that power because sometimes like I kind of feel like I left that peacefulness and stuff you know back there and it, it's obviously hard getting back into reality because you're in this bubble full of like these high vibe people that are like do it do it do it and then it's like now it's time to do it you know it's time to apply it and life is life is not always easy and definitely we all go through challenges and <laughs> I definitely was feeling it the last like I everyone's like I thought you were gonna be all happy and cheery when you got back and um you know I was just kind of like bummed a little bit you know um but I'm still trying to you know, my yoga teacher said, you know, don't let others bring you down. Like, be yourself enough to bring them up or something or have them meet you at your level or something like that. Um, I definitely butchered that, but it's definitely true. And um, so, <laughs> with that being said, everything just worked out perfectly. Like I said, I was scared about riding an Uber by myself and I got a ride like right when I got off the plane, you know, I got a text like, hey, I'm waiting on you from one of the girls and one of the girls took me to the airport and I was worried about because we stopped at a crystal shop before that uh, we went to the airport and I was worried I was going to miss my flight, but it was just like, I just, I got in super easy. Everything just worked out literally perfectly, perfectly. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I loved my roommate. She was super cool. And like, no matter what, it, it, no age limit, nothing. Like, everyone just connected. And obviously, there were some that we didn't, because um, there's 20 girls, so we didn't get as close um, with every single one because, you know, we only like got to know each other for a few days. But it'll forever be something that I'm grateful I did and it's forever going to be on my heart and I also just want to say my boyfriend I'm so grateful for him as well he picked me up from the airport with flowers and I'm just like ah, you know but it was really late so I've just been I was jet lagged for a while yeah so I just wanted to I wanted to wrap up this vlog for you guys hopefully I didn't ramble too much and I made sense but yeah, so expect more vlogs from me. Um, I'm just trying to adapt back into my life and make some changes. I really feel like I'm going for things and I'm changing things and I'm ready for a change and I'm seeing the signs, but so I've just been adapting back into reality and what I want my reality to look like, so. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.